Good day everyone, welcome to my channel. We've got this ASA here, which has no power. And what happened to this ASA? I've already fixed the power of this ASA. Only to find that now there's power. You see? There's a power, there's a charger. Now let me connect the charger. Charger connected. So when you power it on, you see the light is on. See the light is glowing the orange light then it comes on then it goes off looking the light is on before there was no power at all it has no power it has no power it was dead and what i did i find out that there was a a capacitor that was having corrosion around the capacitor i take out the capacitor it was short though the capacitor was short then i took out the capacitor then I put in a new one. That was when I was able to have this power here on the laptop, as you can see. See, power it on now. You see here, yeah? the laptop is powered on. Then it goes off. So in this case now, you know, in cases like this, sometimes the during the course of this problem, it might happen that the BIOS is corrupt. You see. Because it's not read the information from the chip. Here's the chip here. It's not reading the information from the BIOS chip. It's not reading the information from the BIOS chip. Here's the BIOS chip. It's not reading the information from them. So what I will be doing now, I will be programming this chip. If you want to see the video I did before on uh, on fixing the power here was when I was doing the repairs. You see, that was when I was doing the repair of the of the what's it called of the board. There was no power. Then I got power. Okay. Then I got power. So now only to find out when I switch it on, it goes on, then it goes off. It goes on, it goes off. And I know it's not getting the information from from the chip. See that. So I'm getting the information from this chip. So what we'll be doing now, we'll be programming this chip. Okay. Let's disorder it. Okay. I think it's a 16, 60 MB. The 60 MB chip. Let's disorder it. Then we'll put a new file in there. I've got a file already. Okay, the chip is out. The chip is out. So I will grab my programmer now. I'm using the, the CH341A programmer. You see that? Quite nice. Okay. Now, trying to align the... Okay, wait, that's all done. Trying to align the chip on the reader. Okay, I think we've got it on there. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Okay. okay, it's not detected our chip. Let's try again. It's not detecting the chip. I think it's not set properly. You must try to set it. Otherwise, you won't be able to read the chip. Okay, chip connected again. Let's see if we have it running. Detect. There you go. There you go. So now the file. I've already downloaded the file. Like I said, here's the file. 
the port number is LAJ801P. This is the port number. I've already downloaded the file. Okay, here's the file. Then there you go. Right. Okay. It will first of all format the the chip. You raise the chip, and thereafter it will program. Okay. Because what I did, you see, the funniest part of this laptop, there was no power at all. It was totally dead, dead, dead. You know. Only to find out that the, there was a capacitor that has a corrosion that was not having that contact to the board. And I've replaced those uh, capacitors. It was two capacitors. I've, I've replaced them. When I replaced them, that was when it has the, the, the power on the board. Now, all of a sudden, there is no display. Okay? All of a sudden, there is no dis there was no display. All of a sudden, there was no display. The capacitor was behind here, right behind. I didn't intend to make this video. I was thinking just replacing that capacitor. It would give me what I want. But open the only to find that it was not working. I said no. It's wise I make a video on this because this has happened to be the BIOS now, not on the not on the capacitor i intend not to make a video but in this case i had to do it i had to do it in this case i had to do it okay let's check now let's check our file i think copied successful copied now okay let's put our chip back to the board Let's take our chip back to the board. Here's our chip. Going to solder it now. Okay. okay. We're going to solder it now to the board. Okay. We're going to solder the chip back to the board. Going to solder it back to the board. Okay, I think our chip is in properly. Okay, I just wait for the board to cool down a little bit. Let's wait for the board to cool down a little bit, then we can take it from there. Let's just wait for the board to cool down a little bit. Okay, then we can test again. Okay, it's a bit hot. Let's just wait a little bit to cool down before we test. Okay, here we go. Okay, here's the charger. Let's test together now. Here's the charger. Charger connected. Okay, there's our power supply there. Then, powered on. There's the light. The light is still on. It's not getting up. There you go. Did you see that? that was so quick that was so quick let's do that again powered on you see the laptop is on the laptop is on i was even expecting the laptop to restart 
like to restart three times you know to so try to recognize the new file and all that there you go we've got picture no no that was a quick one you know what happened here I, I guess during the process of the file, uh, I guess during the process of the those uh, capacitor was having problem, then it happened to affect the the BIOS itself. You see, the file on the on that chip was corrupt. Okay, the file on that chip was corrupt. There you go. It's i3, 10th generation. Okay. The file on that chip was corrupt. That was why it was unable to display. Okay. So I think I will stop this video now. It was a quick one. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like this video. Give it give it a thumbs up. I will definitely see you on the next video. Okay. Bye bye.